Hello and welcome to Jang's Oriental Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Oh, hi, I'm Chu. Hello, and if you're new to the channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway at food at home. We've got three generations of takeaway owners, so we kind of like to think we know what we're doing. This is obviously not the best way to do it because takeaway food is very different from restaurant food. Takeaway food is kind of like more like a McDonald's, whereas restaurant food is more like restaurant food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In, is that in depth? In depth, just higher quality. Yeah. But um, excuse my English. We also do traditional Chinese food as well. We get a video out every Friday at 7.30 p.m. UK time. Yes, UK time. And um, apart from that, that's about that. We also sell a lot of this stuff on our web store, um, which the link is below. So if you want to recreate loads of these Chinese takeaway dishes, um, the option for you to go onto our web store and buy the products there is there. Yeah. yeah, easy. It's delivered to your doorstep. You don't have to go out, rain or shine, just deliver to your doorstep. How yeah. good is it? Yeah, how? Thumbs up. Yeah. Got um, a mum's thumbs up there, which is not rare at all because mum does it every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today's video. <laughs> you enjoy that one, didn't you, mum? Uh, every. I nearly said every. <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, that's you right for. Um, what is that? I can't remember what I was going to say. Yeah, exactly. That will teach you right. Oh yeah, today's video, Mum, is what? Uh, lemon chicken. Lemon chicken. Now we're going to do two styles of lemon chicken. We're going to do the sauce as normal, but there's two ways of doing the chicken and we're going to do them today. Um, one way is how a good, a good takeaway would do their chicken and the other is how the cheapest of the cheap takeaways will do their chicken. So we'll have these two dishes for you today. Yes, that's right. To try it out. You got something on your face, Mum? Where? Oh, I must be doing... Oh! <laughs> Mum had a massive lump of turmeric got... on her is face. It? Oh, it must be bright. The future is what? orange. Yeah, orange doesn't exist anymore. Oh, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Um... It's a long time ago. I used to have an orange mobile phone I did network. as well. It was terrible network. We had to stand upside down to receive any calls. Probably why they don't exist anymore. Yeah, orange. I can't remember what is the phrase now. You've been tango, orange. Again, that's tango. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, but orange the net network didn't go. You've oh, been tango. Right. That was so, tango the drink. <laughs> that's the very eighty things. Sorry, if you're born before eighty, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Ask your mum and dad. They will know. <laughs> yeah. And we'll, get, we'll just get on with cooking. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this dish is actually done in two parts. I'll give you the ingredients for both parts now, but I'll do them in sections. So this is part one. This is for the batter of the chicken. So you want a couple of grinds of freshly ground black pepper. You want around a third teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of MSG, four dessert spoons of potato starch, two dessert spoons of um, bird's custard powder, Birds is by far the best to use. You've got, you need about two shots, so about 50 millilitres of water, and you're gonna need a chicken breast that you've actually cut in half lengthways. So this was one big chicken breast, now it's in half. This is how the good takeaways will do it. And here is how the cheapest of the cheapest places will do it. I kid you not, they will literally buy it in from somewhere like Morrison's or Tesco's in these little chicken steak slices. What, this pack costs around £2, 250 for that? Saves them time and effort and, you know, because this actually takes quite a bit of effort. A lot of, some places would do this, so if you get your lemon chicken and it's crumbly on the outside, it's because they're using cheap stuff like this instead of making their own batter. So we will be doing one in the sauce of this and one in the sauce made from scratch. Right, so for the sauce, ours is actually quite sharp. I like really sharp food, um, more sour the better. So if it's too sharp for you, only use one lemon but we suggest you try this first if it's too sharp next time you do it leave out a lemon but you need two fresh lemons a tablespoon of oil 400 milliliters of water 250 milliliters of double concentrated lemon squash 
Um, that's really important. Not barley, lemon. You need eight dessert spoons of sugar, some sliced onions, a third teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of MSG, and two dessert spoons of lemon curd. Lemon curd, again, some places won't use this. Good places will. Cheap places will actually just use squash, vinegar, and sugar. But um, we feel that this makes the better lemon sauce. And also you need potato starch to thicken this up. So make sure you remember some slurry. I did actually forget to mention earlier that you're gonna need a pan of oil for shallow frying. Forgive the, uh, it's just a breadcrumb from uh, that from when we took them out of the packet. Oh bad. Yeah. But yeah, so that's what you need for the sauce. Uh, we'll get on with breading this and show you how everything gets, gets together. Everything goes together. What are you gonna do now, Mum? You gotta mix all these bit and pieces all together in here. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go to... What is this? Custard powder. Custard powder. It's very late now for me. Potato. Starch. Starch. And get your pepper. Pepper. And salt. Yeah, all of it. And the MSG. MSG. You don't have to add the MSG again. Um, if you don't want to add it, you don't have to. This is just how a takeaway does it. So if you want it in there, fine. If you want to be MSG massive like the rest of us, um, add it. Yeah. You mix that up. Now you want to put one quarter of this into a bowl. No, that's half. A little bit more. Yeah. Is it that quarter? Is like that? Is yeah. it? I thought it's about. Oh yeah, I've got mixed up. I thought it's three quarter. Sorry. Not three. You mean three thirds? Yeah. One third. Yeah. Two. Quarter go in here and. The rest go into your plate. Flatten it out. Okay, now you need to add water to this until you get a runny consistency. You don't want it too runny and you don't want it too thick. Just add a bit at a time, yeah? Yeah, okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's perfect. You're going to get your chicken breasts and you're going to place them into... Get your chicken flour. breasts, yeah? Do this, put that to one side. And bring this one in. You want to make sure your pan goes on around this time as well. You want that to get up to about 170 degrees. Now the chicken goes into the water mix. Yeah. You just want a light layer on the outside. Okay, back into the... Mix that up. Get your hands in. Turn that over, turn that over. Yep. You want to coat them. Yep, get it coated. It needs to be quick. Put it in there, yeah. And then these can sit there until your oil is ready. When it comes to these ones over here that are pre-made, you just need to wait for your oil to be ready. Looking good. Right, so a lot of people might be thinking, why did we not put egg in the, um, the batter when we're sort of panning? It's not panning, but you know what I mean. The um, chicken. Simple reason, because if you put egg into this mix, when you cut it, it will, the mixture, what's the word, flakes away much easier from the skin than it does if you don't use the egg. Uh, use egg when you're doing sort of crispy beef and stuff like that, but if you're gonna cut it, it will flake away and you'll be, be left up with half batter and half chicken rather than fully battered chicken. They separate. Yeah, they separate, that's it, they separate. Oil is up at high temperature, probably a bit too hot actually, um, but we'll go ahead anyway. And you're gonna need some, kitchen paper uh, just to drain off the excess oil. I'm going to go with the raw chicken first because this is a really sort of the constituted chicken so it won't take as long to cook. Also this doesn't burn so you can put this in whatever. The uh, coating on the outside means it doesn't burn. When the chicken goes in you want to make sure that you turn your heat down to a medium heat. Again, you can have this on full blast and the outside won't burn, but it's just makes a more tender chicken. So how long do you reckon we need to cook this for? Oh, what do you think, Mum? I think about minimum seven minutes. Yeah. Seven to eight. Seven to eight. Yeah, I reckon about eight, nine. Yeah. In about four, no, in about three minutes, we're going to put these in. These will burn, though. Yes. Um, so we're going to have to monitor the temperature very carefully with them. Every couple of minutes you just want to turn these over. So for a reference, the temperature of the oil at the moment, where's that other? Oh, it's around 170. If you're wondering, the reason why you turn these is because when you're shallow frying, shallowy? When you're shallow frying them, they sit on the bottom of the pan. If you don't turn them, you get a weird sort of 
darker layer. And that's just a personal preference, to be honest. If you're okay with having that weird flat spot, which is way more overcooked than the others, then that's fine. Um, that's completely up to you. Just for me personally, it really spoils a dish for me. How about you, Mum? Yeah, I think it looked nicer when it um, evenly colours, isn't it? Yeah. It's been around, what, three, four minutes now? Yeah. Um, and we're going to put these ones in. These are floating now. Turn it, yeah? Yeah. They're basically giant chicken nuggets, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> but this first one here is thinner Smaller. and it's cooked, so that can come out first, and then we'll just wait for the others to cook off. You can see the darkness on those, well, when I say darkness, those little spots. That's actually the breadcrumbs from that. That's not from that batter. This one over here is a better example. You can see it doesn't have many of those crummy bits on, so that's why it's nice like that. That one will be okay. Yeah. Just trying to crisp on the outside of these up now. See the difference in colour. That's flour, and that's what um, potato starch in, like starch does, it doesn't burn. Now we're gonna do the sauce. Okay, so there are two parts to the sauce. The first is the making the sauce, and then there's cooking the sauce off to pour over the chicken. This recipe will make about a litre, but this will store for at least a month in the fridge. So if you don't want to use it all in one go, um, that's fine. It's so bit for harder day. What you need to do is you need to pour your water in, your sugar, your cordial lemon squash, two dessert spoons of the lemon curd, and then you need to squeeze your two lemons in. Like I said, we like it sharp. Everywhere we've cooked it has always had it sharp. I don't know if that's a regional thing. I have had it towards London and Scotland way a few times. It's always very different. Theirs is normally sweeter. Just a juice, yeah? Oh, it's it... alive. It's <laughs> zest. Zesty with life. Mm, yeah. Oh, oh gosh. Great pun. I appreciate a good pun. Oh, there's a lemon bit, isn't it? Oh, it's like fishing, isn't it? Got it. You got it? Yeah. I like lemons. Yeah. I just eat them whole like that. We bought the sieve expecting it to be a really good sieve, but it's um, oh it's not serving anything. <laughs> the sieve that's not for sieving. Okay, so now all you need to do is turn it on and bring this to the boil. Make sure everything can mix together. Turn on the heat, medium, high, low. What shall we start with? Always high, just bring it. Just always bring high it. for this, just bring it to, to the boil, boil and mix everything in. It smells so lemony. Oh, I love it, it's making my mouth water. What are you doing to this just then, Mum? Cutting some chilli for yeah, it. Classic obligatory chilies. Yeah. Okay, so it's near the boil now. Everything's dissolved, so I'll leave it another minute. I don't, I don't really need to, but I like to make sure it goes to the boil just to, for health and hygiene reasons. Okay, so that's ready now. We'll turn off the heat. And you want to decant this out into some sort of jug or container, because you can make this now and then save it for, a, like I said, in the fridge for at least a month. Mmm, smell lovely. It smells lovely. It smells doesn't it? Yes. A bit like lemon sip, actually. Without the draught. <laughs> yeah, without the good bit. But yeah, now we'll teach you how to make this into a sauce. Right, so we're actually going to portion the rice out first, chop up the chicken, and place that on the rice. Um, this is a step I completely forgot about, and Mum just reminded me. Like I said before, we're just going to chop up um, this separately and place Ooh. it on the rice. Let's get going. Okay, so if you use egg, this actually falls off. The uh, the batter will fall off. So that's why we don't use egg for this particular recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Now for the pre-bought one. Actually, looks really nice. It looks like a chicken nugget inside, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. So as always, turn on the heat, and we're going to let this get hot. Actually, I'm going to put the oil in first. Yeah. You need a good tablespoon. Don't be afraid of it in this one. When the oil starts creeping by itself along the pan, I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up here, but I don't know if you can see it sort of retreating. That means it's getting hot. Now we're making two portions here, so we're probably going to use 500 millilitres of the sauce Actually, it's just under a litre there. It's about 800 millilitres, so I'm going to use about 400 millilitres. Onions start browning, in goes your MSG. And your salt. I am a salt monster as well. I absolutely love salt. In goes the sauce. Also, MSG is browned. All you're doing now is bringing this to the boil. You don't want to put any soy in it. 
The second you put any soy in it, it's going to go dark. I've never seen a dark um, lemon, sauce. lemon sauce. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Some places might do. Places that don't know anything might do it. Okay, so that's nice it and is. bubbly away. It's now time to thicken. This literally has taken, what, the sauce? About 30 seconds to bubble because yeah. it was hot. When you do this from cold, it's going to take a few minutes. Yeah, a little bit at a time. You can use corn flour, potato starch. Potato starch is better. Today we're actually using corn flour um, because we were too lazy to go and get the potato starch from the shop. So we're using corn flour. <laughs> potato starch is way better, a little bit thicker. Oh yeah. It's about right, is it? Yeah. So you want it thicker? We're obviously going to add chilies to this as well. No, that's fine. That's perfect. Yeah. Off the heat? Off the heat, yeah. Then... So I just uh, even it out? Yeah. Ooh, Again, we're going to put chilies in this. But you've got to do that one as well, oh, yeah. well. No, because this is such a rich dish. dish. You don't need much sauce. Yeah. yeah, like I said, we always add chilies because we are chili fiends. Right, so I've got a bit of a sweat on because this is actually quite labour intensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy. A lot of people think Chinese food is easy. It is actually quite easy when you know what you're doing, but there's a lot of steps and a lot of preparation and a lot of heat. And because we can't put the extractor fan on, it's really really hot yeah we've obviously got the two types here the homemade batter and the shop bought batter i show you tried that one i tried that one then we swap and so i'm going to try the shop bought one and i'm going to try the homemade one first i'm actually expecting good things because i like chicken though mm, good mm. have you tried the chicken yeah but the sauce is really... the sauce is nice i've never had lemon chicken with chili before and it's awesome some places put pineapple in yeah. It would work very well with this, actually. Yes, it will. Yeah, yeah it will. I'm going to try this one now. Mum, do you want to no, try this? No, I want to just try that one. Go on, try it, <laughs> Mum. <laughs> try it. All right. This That's is way like, better. Mm, crispy. Mm. It's going to sound weird, but there's the eggy flavour from the custard powder. That's really be way better than that. Like, way better. Like, on, a, on a scale of 1 to 10, that no. doesn't make sense. If this was a race, this would be in 10th position. And this would be in first. Mm. <laughs> you don't like it! <laughs> well, I hope the camera picked Mum's face up then. I don't mind it. It's. No. <laughs> I Just normally. No. I don't even like chicken. I don't like uh, breast much, but this one is really good. Yeah, chicken breast. I hate chicken breast. Chicken thigh every time, but. Chili. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Moral of the story is, if you're a takeaway and you're watching, you probably hate us anyway. Mm. <laughs> but if you are a takeaway, spend the extra time to make it the way that we would make it. And most other takeaways would make it. Make it. Don't buy it in like that. Good. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, by all means become a patron. Patrons get vlogs that um, YouTubers don't get. YouTubers? That YouTube doesn't get. They also get written recipes, stuff like that. Plus it helps us go full time. Visit our web store again. If the more people go and buy them there, the cheaper we can buy the stuff in. At the moment, we're buying yeah. them really small quantities and we can't get the price breaks we need. Yeah, we've got a good, good price. Until until more people yeah. buy. And so if you want to help us out and say thank you for um, sharing our knowledge with you guys, that would be awesome. But again, you don't have to just thank you for being here. Just make sure yeah. you hit that like, sus like to subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Yep, hit the like button. Happy. I thought you were going to have a new saying. Happy Mom, was talking cooking, about, yeah, happy yeah. eating all around the world. That's it. All around the world, happy cooking, happy eating. What is going on? <laughs> all around the world, you know that song, Mick Jagger? Mick Jagger? Yeah, Mick Jagger Mick and Jagger. all the, um, in the 80s, dancing around the world. Bowie. David yeah. Bowie. David Bowie. If you get that reference, well done on you. <laughs> you don't know where that's from, do you? No, David Bowie is from. I know, you, I know you know who. Anyway, that's by the by. That's from a <laughs> old sitcom. I say old is not old at all, but it's from a sitcom that's no longer on TV. But anyway, mm. thanks for watching, guys. And as always, remember. Hit the like no, button. No, your, no, your your phrase. Happy cooking. No, no. Happy eating. There we go. Yeah. <laughs>